Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to take a bunch of phone numbers and use an Excel formula to convert those to states, basically where the phone number originated, which state the caller called, called from. Now I had the pleasure of doing this today um, a few times, so uh, I've been doing it for quite some time in my job um, where we need to figure out which state a certain caller called, called from. So I'm going to show you how to do it, it's very easy. Um, let me pop open Excel real quick, and let's get, uh, I'm going to be using 2016, yeah, 2016, and uh, let's open it up, and I'm going to use a sample set that I found online, so I went on the internet, and I found a bunch of phone numbers, regular phone numbers, nothing crazy, just a, a list of numbers, so obviously I don't have a list set out for this example, but I found a list of numbers. Now the list of numbers here um, are obviously some random numbers and I'm trying to figure out which state are these callers from. So for example this number, this 415 number, I don't know what area code that is or this 424 number. Now on a regular uh, basis I would just Google okay what's a 323 number or what's a 727 number. But what happens when you have a hundred numbers or a thousand numbers right? In this case I have 54 numbers. So the first thing you want to do is you want to get all your numbers in Excel. Um, primarily, preferably in column A, that'd be good. Um, the second thing you want to do is you want to get a list of states. We're going to create a table to match. Um, we're actually going to use vertical lookup, VLOOKUP, this function for this. So we're going to need a list of states to match it to. And I went online, again, of course, and I found a table of area code listings by number. And this table contains um, area codes for each state has way more information than I actually need, but I need this table because I need to match each number uh, to this particular area code to see which state the caller called from. So I'm going to go and I'm going to copy this entire list. Now I'm going to be putting this link in the description of the video and I'll also put the formula I'm using in the description of the video. I'm going to copy this entire list and I'm going to go into Excel and I'm going to just paste it right here. Now I'm going to remove uh, wrapping from it so it'll be nice and consistent and I'm going to delete the crap I don't need and now I have a list of area codes and the state that the area code matches to so now the very last thing that I need is my formula all right I need my formula to basically tell uh, let me delete this uh, shift cells up I need to tell which one of these area codes um, is a match for these phone numbers so very easy I'm gonna go here and I'm going to define a name for this table. I'm going to highlight both cells. I'm going to highlight uh, I'm going to highlight the table. I'm going to right click it and I'm going to choose define name. I'm going to give this table a name and I'm going to call it state codes. And I'm going to click on OK. So now this table has a name state codes. Now for a formula. So I've written it out in Excel because I was using it previously and it's going to be a really easy formula. What we're going to do is we're going to say equals VLOOKUP. We want the value of the left three numbers um, of column A1 which is the phone number. The left three numbers the first three characters which happen to be the area code and what we want to do is we want to match it to state codes and we want to match it to uh, column 2 and it's going to have to be an exact match. That's why it's set to false. So let me copy this. Let me paste this in here, hit enter, and let me push this formula down. So what I did just now, um, and let me just double click on this to show you exactly what I did, is I put this formula in here because I want to look up the value of the first three characters of the item in column A1. So on cell A1, I have this 720-318, yada, yada number, and I'm basically matching this 720 to state codes and I want to return back uh, everything in column two of the table that is matching in column one. And it has to be an exact match. So the range lookup is going to be exact, right? The state codes table is defined here. And we're returning back an exact match for um, an area code. And what you're seeing right now is that all these numbers over here, and actually, let me go here and let me sort this by column B. And if you take a look, I think the majority of these numbers are actually California. And we have a Colorado one. We could actually test this. 720, is that a Colorado number? Or we can go down our list and look for 720. And it is a Colorado number. Look at that. It's got a perfect match. Um, so I was able to determine quickly 
uh, the area, the state of the area code where it connects. I know 646 is New York because 646 are usually cell phone numbers here in New York. I'm from New York, so um, we have Texas, Florida, Colorado, and the majority is California. And, and this will work with a million numbers. So this is very useful to me um, when I try to basically create uh, charts and things of that nature to try and, and map um, you know, different uh, uh, reports that show how many callers call from a specific state or I want to remarket leads from a specific state and I just want to make sure. So I don't know how many people this is actually useful for, but um, it's very useful for me. It's something that I use on a regular basis. You know, we actually had an additional column in here, which was the time zone. So we could actually put in the time zone for it as well. We could put the time zone in another column if I hadn't deleted it. But in this video, I didn't want to do time zones. I wanted to do area codes. But of course, you could put time zones in here um, and things of that nature. You can do additional matching also uh, for phone numbers. But the primary goal was, and I researched this for a while to figure out how to do it, uh, is to use Excel to put a bunch of phone numbers in and obtain the area codes that correlate with, uh, to get the states that correlate with that area code. And I was able to do that from a table. And I did this whole thing, and I think in under a minute. Um, and this is something that I do quite often. It's very useful to people who are uh, in call centers or uh, work with data, especially a lot of phone number data and things of that nature. So that's what I wanted to show in this video. Um, this video is just, and it's a good example of VLOOKUP because what you could see here is uh, how I use vertical lookup. First, you saw me define uh, a name for uh, a table, right? So I created the table. I defined the name for it as something that I showed in my previous video on how to do VLOOKUP is to define a name to a table uh, and then how to match a set of numbers to a column in that table and return back a value, right? So I wanted to return back a value and uh, I was able to return the state value, um, an exact match. And uh, that's it. So that, that was uh, this video. I just wanted to make a quick video to show how to do this. Um, hope somebody finds it useful. I'm not expecting this video to get a billion views, but, you know, um, it's a good, a good thing to know. So I'm going to put this formula, and I'll even put the link to the website where I got uh, these uh, listings, these area code listings, and you could check this out for yourself also. It's pretty awesome. Uh, okay. Thank you for watching. Um, I'll catch you guys later. Subscribe. Bye.